Piers blasts Harry on new move as he lectures on lies about vaccine, Duke tastes of his own medicine. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, is blasting mass-scale misinformation in the media and online, which he blames for creating COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy. The 36-year-old member of Britain's royal family spoke out about vaccine equity while appearing Wednesday at the British GQ Men of the Year Awards in London. Harry, appearing remotely from California, told viewers, there is a huge disparity between who can and cannot access the vaccine. Less than 2% of people in the developing world have received a single dose at this point, and many of their healthcare workers are still not even vaccinated. We cannot move forward together unless we address this imbalance as one, he said. At the same time, families around the world are being overwhelmed by mass-scale misinformation across news media and social media, Harry continued, where those who peddle in lies and fear are creating vaccine hesitancy, which in turn is dividing communities and eroding trust. This is a system we need to break if we are to overcome COVID-19 and the rise of new variants, he said. Harry's comments came as he presented the Knights Heroes of the Year award to the team behind the development of the University of Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. It's not the first time Harry's railed against misinformation amid the coronavirus pandemic. In May, he called out Joe Rogan after the podcast host made controversial comments that healthy young people don't need to be vaccinated. Rogan announced Wednesday that he had tested positive for COVID-19. The issue is like, in today's world, with misinformation just endemic, you've got to be careful about what comes out of your mouth when it comes to that, Harry said, urging against vaccines becoming a political football. So many things have been politicized over the years but when we're talking about life and death, which is what we're talking about now, vaccines cannot be politicized, Harry said. Prince Harry accused of hypocrisy for blaming social media for mass-scale misinformation. During his surprise virtual appearance at GQ Men of the Year Awards, Prince Harry blamed the media and social media for mass-scale misinformation that has caused COVID-19 vaccine hesitancy worldwide. The Duke of Sussex, who presented a prize to the team behind the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine, criticized those who peddle in lies and fear. Commenting on Harry's speech, royal biographer Angela Levin accused the Duke of hypocrisy. Harry is blaming the media and social media for mass-scale misinformation. He and Meghan didn't fall far behind during their chat to Oprah, she said. Speaking at the event, Harry warned until every community can access the vaccine and until every community is connected to trustworthy information about the vaccine, then we are all at risk. He said, less than 2% of people in the developing world have received a single dose at this point and many of the health care workers are still not vaccinated. The Duke of Sussex added, we cannot move forward together unless we address this imbalance as one. The Duke's comments about mass-scale misinformation across news media appeared to be a reference to journalists' coverage of the vaccine. However, some media outlets including the Daily Mail and the Daily Mirror interpreted this as a jab at Piers Morgan. Morgan shared the Daily Mail's article on Twitter, writing, Hashtag Orcs in response. Morgan, who was in the audience at the awards ceremony, was cleared by the UK media regulator Ofcom over his comments on Meghan Markle's mental health on Wednesday. Morgan previously said on ITV News that he did not believe what Markle said in her interview with Oprah Winfrey, which aired in March. He dismissed the Duchess' claims about her suicidal thoughts including that she received little support from Buckingham Palace when she asked for help. While Morgan's comments resulted in almost 60,000 complaints, Ofcom concluded that he did not break its code. Ofcom concluded